to put together the everything but the ice cream gift baskets. These can be used any time of year, really. They're great summer gift, though. You can do them for a neighbor gift. I'm doing them for end of year teacher gifts, but there's so many options that you can use these for. Um, but I want to show you everything that is going to be going into the basket. So first of all, we do have the basket with some decorative shred. I always do a wad of paper on the bottom for some lift, so I have that in there already. Then we have the basket bag. That's what's gonna go over it once we're all done. Over here we have the cones, the really big ice cream cup for fun, plus a card that is covered in ice cream cones and it's blank on the inside. We have some ice cream shaped fun glasses, novelty glasses, ice cream shaped napkins, a cute little sign that says sweet summer. There's two types of bowls. There are the throwaway ice cream bowls plus one reusable bowl that we are tossing in there as well as the plates. Down here we have two different kinds of sprinkles. We have like the little ball sprinkles and then the um, other type of sprinkle mix right there plus some glitter straws there is strawberry syrup and chocolate syrup as well as an ice cream scoop and then some fun stickers I figured since they're for teachers teachers like stickers and things like that so that's everything going into this everything but the ice cream basket it's customizable in so many different ways but everything I found for this one I did find at Dollar Tree the reason I decided to make it was because of this ice cream scoop and the straws right there. I found those and thought that what a fun gift idea for the teachers. But you can change it in so many different ways. You can just stick with doing an ice cream scoop, some syrup, sprinkles, and cones and call it good. Or you can go a little bit more elaborate like this one. But let's get this all put together. And here are the finished baskets. So let's kind of go over how they're done. I did put the plates and the napkins up here in front. That does help block the paper that's behind there, the fluff up paper. And so you just see kind of that ice cream cone look in the front. So I really like that. When I build my baskets, I already always start with like the big items. So I started with the big cone um, cup and the 
ice cream cones and the sign because those are all my biggest items and then I try to build around that so next biggest would have been like the straws trying to have a place for them um, putting in the bowl sideways like this helped fluff in everything and keep it kind of sturdy because I didn't tape anything in these ones one thing that's hidden is the little bowl that I have the syrup in but that'll be fun because it'll be like an extra like thing that they'll find as they're going through their basket um, same with the other syrup I couldn't really figure out a good way to show them both this isn't the best size and shape of a basket to be able to show everything but you can almost see everything or at least the important parts I just did a little bit of the fluff at the bottom if you saw the way I did that and then I wanted to sprinkle more on top because I think that just gives it that fun look this particular basket has two sets of stickers this one only has one set of stickers but it has cupcake liners in it and then this third one has an ice cream puzzle these were all items that I couldn't find three of so I just did one of each item for you know little fun things there are three different types of eyeglasses that are ice cream so we have this one with the sparkly ice cream this one has kind of that sprinkle ice cream in it and then this one has a different type of sprinkle ice cream so they're all very similar but slightly different and I think they all came together really nice so when we give them since these are teachers gifts I'm going to put them in the cellophane bags and then I'm gonna have each of the kids sign the cards themselves and I'm just gonna do a hole punch and I think tie the card up around the top so that that way when the teachers are at school, if they don't want to open the whole thing and get the card out, that'll be really easily ready for them. But then they can just kind of glance into the basket until they're ready to open it up. So this is my completed everything but the ice cream basket. Again, I did mine as teacher's gifts, but you can do these as a neighbor gift, as a housewarming gift. Just a thank you for inviting me over and having a summer day at somebody's house type gift. So you can do it for so many different reasons. You can change up what the stuff is inside. You can just do like a set of bowls, sprinkles, cones, and um, syrups and call it good. I think you always need an ice cream scoop. That's I think that's what does it. But you can change it up in so many different ways. I did one everything but the ice cream gift I think two years ago and it was slightly different than these so you know you just change it up to however you want it whoever is receiving the gift so I hope you enjoyed go ahead and leave me a comment down below let me know what you think if there's any changes you would make let me know because I always love to get new ideas if there's something that you would do differently and I can't wait until I see you in my next video bye guys